only eating at KFC for a full day in Dubai. The menu here is so interesting. Like I've never seen half of these things before. They had this dynamite zinger burger that had a whole hash brown inside. It had melty cheese and crunchy chicken tenders. The hash brown wasn't bad too, but it could have definitely been crispier. Like it's no McDonald's hash brown, but that's okay because the chicken tenders were so good. And also I was really curious about this mojito crusher that was made with seven up and it was nice and sweet and minty and so fizzy. And I've never tried KFC shrimp, but you guys, this is the best fast food shrimp I have ever had. Why were they so tender and like crunchy, piping hot? I was fully blown away. And for dessert, they had these chocolate chip cookies that were so soft. They were kind of giving Pepperidge Farms, like chewy, really sweet. They give you like an immediate sugar rush. And I had to come back later to try this Rizzo bowl. So it was chicken and rice covered in this spicy marinara sauce that was really garlicky and so tangy. And then the rice was kind of like fluffy. And then the cashier told me I had to try these hot wings because they're his favorite and they were so freaking crispy and actually pretty spicy, super moist. And then they asked me if I wanted seasoning on my fries. So of course I said yes. It was like a chili powder, kind of hot, kind of zesty, super salty. And that's all for today what I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. So in some ports, they have a crew shop where like only crew is allowed and then we get discounts and stuff. And at this one, they had a bunch of different snacks and don't judge me, but I've actually never had a Toblerone before. And first off, it's so satisfying to like snap off each piece. And then the almond nougat is so crunchy and the chocolate's actually really smooth. And I saw this like biscuit sandwich that was filled with blackberry jam and covered in chocolate and sprinkles. And the jam actually added a lot of flavor. And then I found a white chocolate crunch bar. I've never tried these before and oh my gosh, it was so sweet. I think I prefer the milk chocolate, but it still had a great crunch. And then for lunch, I headed up to the pool grill because I still can't get off in India, but they actually made Indian food for us today. They had this like thick buttered chicken and this fluffy rice. And a lot of our chefs are actually from India. So this was incredible. The chicken was so juicy. It was really creamy and rich. And they also had these prawns with this like spicy chili seasoning. And then for dinner, I went to the staff mess and they had all these pretty desserts and tarts and they always have different cheeses and bread and then today they had these ones that we call salt sticks because they're covered in these big crunchy pieces of salt and then you bite the top off and it's the perfect little pocket for cheese and they had this really soft goat cheese today. It's so good. And finally for dessert, there was this caramel coffee mousse with pieces of chocolate on top and it was so soft and smooth and sweet and that's all for today. Only eating snacks I bought in Dubai for a full day. So I went to Carrefour, which is this massive supermarket. They literally have everything and look at this fancy pulled sugar. It's like condensed coffee cotton candy, but it's made with flour and butter too. It's the most interesting texture. It's like compact, but then it just melts in your mouth and it kind of tastes like ice cream. And they also had this like self-serve Turkish delight station where you can pick whatever flavors you want. And look at how pretty this one is. I think the jelly was mango flavored and it had pistachios and nougat and it's so like satisfyingly chewy. And this one had almonds and pistachios and then this layer of crunchy sesame seeds that kind of adds like a peanut butter flavor and goes really well with the fruity jelly. Oh, and then later I tried this date cookie. I kept seeing these everywhere and it kind of reminded me of like a Fig Newton, but less chewy, more like soft and crumbly and not too sweet. And the biscuit had a really nice butter flavor. And then in the bread section, I found this chocolate croissant that was filled with caramel. It was so soft, like biting into a pillow. It definitely could have had more filling, but the filling it did have was so sugary and added that like perfect caramel flavor. And oh my gosh, the chip aisle was never ending, but I found these twisted Cheetos that were so puffy, like cheese puffs, like such a satisfying texture and shape and so cheesy and that's all for today. A day in the life of a singer on a luxury cruise ship. I actually got to sleep in today for the first time in weeks. And oh, if you missed my cabin tour earlier, here's my little home. Anyway, then I headed to rehearsal where they were building our set for the show tomorrow. We actually have seven different shows, but this is our biggest one by far. We literally have swings that come down from the ceiling and we get to swing around on stage. And the costumes are so cool. Like look at this dress reveal. And then at the end, we're all in these gorgeous like showgirl costumes and there's confetti that falls from the ceiling. It's a lot. And then after rehearsal, I had to get dressed because we had this evening plan with a penthouse guests. So we went up to their suite. It's the big one with the Picasso paintings out front and it's gorgeous inside. They have their own bar and butlers. And we were invited up for like a little private party with them. And then they escorted us to their private restaurant, which is like hidden, like only they can eat there. It's called the study and they can order from any menu on the ship. It's so bougie. Like we had assigned seats and then they brought us out like nine different courses and I was so stuffed, but they just kept bringing food. I mean, the suite is like $11,000 a day. So I guess you get what you pay for. Anyway, then after after dinner, the whole cast got together for Christmas decorating. So during one of the guest entertainers, we put up the tree in the main atrium. So when the guests came out of the show, they were surprised with Christmas. It was so cute. We played Christmas music. And anyway, that's all for today. 
what I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. Today we were at this private island in the UAE and they didn't have any restaurants, but they had so many snacks. And I found French cheese lays. They had a picture of Swiss cheese on the front, so maybe that's what they meant. And they did have kind of like a sour cheesy flavor, really oniony too. I also saw all these cool looking colorful drinks with coconut jellies inside and I got this melon one. I love the flavor of melon. It's almost like soft and sweet and the jellies were so chewy, yum. And I also found these chocolate coconut covered dates filled with almonds. They were super rich and they were like warm from sitting out in the sun. So the chocolate was a little melty. And then they let me go paddle boarding because like none of the guests wanted to go. And the water was crystal clear. And then the sunset was gorgeous. And anyway, then for dinner, I went to the mess and look at this giant sausage. I don't know why they were so big, but it actually had a great snap and was nice and juicy and a little sweet too. And they also had moussaka. It had this really soft eggplant. It was so rich and cheesy and like hearty. And then for dessert, they had cupcakes that had this like whipped chocolate mousse on top and the cake was seriously so moist and i thought this might be coffee flavored or like vanilla but it was banana flavored which kind of caught me off guard but the chocolate ganache on top was decadent and that's all for today only eating street food for a full day in the Maldives. So literally on every street, they have these shops selling short eats, which are these little snacks that they eat during tea time. And I got this coconut tuna dumpling and oh my gosh, I was not expecting it to be so spicy. It was packed with flavor and I mean, it's deep fried. So like, of course it's delicious. And then I think this was like a fish cake. It had this really crispy buttery crust and then inside was similar to a cornbread texture and it was also so spicy. And then I got this one called Masaroshi. It's super popular here and it's got this smoked tuna filling that's bursting with flavor. Like if you ever come to the Maldives, you have to try the smoked tuna. Also, the bread is so soft and warm. Anyway, then I did some more exploring and I found this huge food court with like 20 different restaurants selling food from all around the world. And I kept seeing these puddings everywhere. Look at how shiny this caramel pudding was. Oh my gosh, it was so sweet and custardy. And then it had a really nice vanilla flavor. And I think this chocolate biscuit pudding is actually a Sri Lankan dessert. It's so crunchy and so chocolatey. The flavor kind of reminds me of like chocolate graham crackers. And finally, I tried these Maldivan samosas that were piping hot and so soft. And they were filled with this really crunchy cabbage and egg and, of course, tuna. And they had this amazing black pepper flavor. They were so good. And that's all for today. Only eating at KFC for a full day in the Maldives. So right across from this really pretty mosque is a KFC. And you guys, they have shawarma. And they also had these like spicy smoked chicken wings. They also had all these different flavors of crushers, which are these crushed ice milkshakes. This one was called a strawberry storm. And it had little pieces of chocolate in it. It was so sweet, really creamy. And look at how big this shawarma was. And it had fries inside. And this tangy mayo ketchup sauce. And I've never had fried chicken shawarma before, but it was so crunchy. And then I was so curious what smoky chicken tasted like it had all these little pepper seeds on it and you guys it was so spicy like my eyes were watering but it was also really juicy and so tender and like just packed with flavor anyway then i explored the island a bit and i came back later to try their zinger burger and the cashier told me that it had a veggie burger in it too but i think it got lost in translation because it was a hash brown it also had this creamy spicy sauce and these thick crunchy pieces of chicken and the bun was grilled too and then the hash brown was actually nice and crispy i think this is the same sandwich i tried in dubai I also got some hot and crispy chicken that had that perfect, rich, like satisfying deep fried flavor and also so hot. Like I love when they say spicy in Asia, they actually mean spicy. And finally, I got this Choco Lash Crusher, which also had crunchy little pieces of chocolate in it. And the chocolate flavor was actually really rich. It was delicious. And that's all for today. Everything I ate at Tim Hortons in Dubai. I didn't realize how popular Tim Hortons is here, but they have them like everywhere and they have so many different options. They also had this special like Biscoff donut sandwich. So I was sold. Then I asked the cashier to give me six of her favorite donuts and thank God she made me one of the Biscoff ones. And you guys, it was heavy. It had so much of that like smooth, rich, caramely spread. It's so thick. It like coats your mouth in buttery biscuit flavor. And she gave me this UAE National Day donut that had a little chocolate flag on top. And I can't get over a different chocolate taste in other countries. I feel like it's less sweet. Oh, it was also filled with vanilla custard, which was nice and creamy. And oh my gosh, look at this massive hazelnut one that had this huge scoop of Nutella right in the middle and the donut was actually so fluffy and light and I was most excited about this maple one and it did not disappoint so freaking sweet with that amazing bright like sugary maple flavor and it was filled with maple cream which was so smooth and soft but this strawberry cheesecake one was my favorite by far it had lotus biscuit crumble on top and this thick strawberry jam and then it was filled with this freaking delicious cheesecake cream that was kind of sour and cheesy oh my gosh it was so good and finally I tried this pistachio 
pistachio one that was probably my least favorite because it wasn't filled but the pistachio glaze was nice it wasn't too sweet and anyway that's all for today what I eat in a day in India. Today we were in Goa and I bought so many snacks to try. I bought this really interesting looking dessert. So it's these little sugary cubes made with flour and ghee. And it's like the most interesting texture. It's really light and kind of flaky. And then it just melts in your mouth. And this is a really popular snack here. So it's a mixture of these crunchy fried noodles and peanuts and these puffy rice flakes. It's a little spicy and it has this amazing like deep fried flavor. And look at these masala Pringles. They were actually kind of sweet and garlicky and they had a great tomato flavor. And I I actually wasn't able to get off today because of a visa issue so my friends brought me a meal like they got special permission for it and oh my gosh look at how glossy this chicken tikka masala was it was so creamy definitely the spiciest tikka masala i've ever had and the chicken literally fell apart in my mouth it was so tender and i also got this vindalu which is like so so spicy but it had this amazing acidic kind of tangy flavor too and the rice was cooked perfectly and oh my gosh i was so excited for this garlic naan and it did not disappoint super soft and like a little chewy and it had this perfect char and finally for dessert i got gulab jamun which are these soft fried balls that are soaked in rose flavored sugar syrup and they're just so light and sweet like absolutely delicious and that's all for today a day in the life of a singer on a luxury cruise ship. It's the third sea day in a row, so to keep the guests entertained, we cleared out the entire pool deck and had a carnival where each department made up their own games. And the entertainment department played human slot machines, so we picked random fruits out of a bag, and if all three are the same, you can win, like, prizes and stuff. And then all the singers had to go to rehearsal with the band because we have, like, a Bond-themed concert tonight. Then in between duties, I snuck up to the pool deck for a cookie, and they had the brownie ones today. I didn't have time to go to my cabin and eat it, so I ate it in the stairwell, but it was so good. The chocolate chips were all melted. Tea. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys how fancy the guest bathrooms are. This is the one right outside the theater. It's so pretty. And also they don't have any paper towels. They only use regular towels. And then I headed back to my cabin to get ready. And here's a little clip from the show tonight. <laughs> After that, I headed to the theater to watch the guest entertainer tonight. We're actually allowed to go to all the shows and tonight was this juggling duo. They are amazing. He juggled like five clubs at a time and that's all for today.